Given the graph of a function, we want to determine the intervals for which the function is concave up and concave down, and also determine any points of inflection. Before we do this, let's quickly review what it means for a function to be concave up or concave down. Here's a graph of a function that's concave up. Notice how it looks like an upward facing cup that would hold water. More formally, a function is concave up if the rate of change is increasing. Now because this is an algebra class, we can still find the average rate of change of a function by determining the slope through two points. So for example, if we found the slope through these two points, and then these two points, and then these two points, the slopes would be negative three halves, then zero, and then positive three halves. Notice how the average rates of change are increasing, and the function is concave up. Similarly, a function that's concave down will have a shape like this that looks like an upside down cup that would not hold water. But again, more formally, a function is concave down if the rate of change is decreasing. And then again, if we did the same thing and found the average rates of change through these two points, these two points, and these two points, the slopes of these lines would be positive three halves, zero, and negative three halves. And notice now, the average rates of change are decreasing, and their function is concave down. And then where a function changes concavity, we have a point of inflection. So now let's go back to our problem. If we take a look at the left side of this graph, Notice how it looks like it would form an upside down cup, and therefore the left side is concave down, and then somewhere near the y-axis, looks like right on the y-axis, it changes from concave down back to concave up. Notice how the graph would form an upward facing cup. So on the right here, the function is concave up. And as I mentioned, it looks like it changes concavity right at the y-axis, and this point here would have coordinates zero comma two. So the left piece of the blue piece is concave down, and the green piece of the right piece is concave up. So the function is concave down from negative infinity to zero. Or if we want, we could say when x is less than zero. And the function is concave up from zero to positive infinity, or we could say when x is greater than zero. We don't include zero in the interval because that's where it changes concavity, and that's why the point zero two is a point of inflection. And that's gonna do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.